Hey everyone, I wanted to go ahead and take a second to have a further discussion regarding the weapon augmenting or curious crafting, as Capcom is calling it, for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak's first free title update that is set to release later this month. Where people have begun to kind of pick apart the information that they provided us with, and basically we are starting to get a bigger picture as to perhaps the decorations shown for the curious crafting as of right now might just be the first wave of actual support that we might be getting and there will be more different augmented pieces essentially more ways for you to be able to craft your weapon to perfection in the future as more waves of title updates become available. But basically, if for some reason you weren't paying attention, uh, Capcom went ahead and took to social media a few days ago and confirmed that augmenting is now going to be also becoming available for weapons, which is something that we didn't know, but we did know that armors are going to be having augmenting as well, essentially meaning that armors are going to get free base skills essentially added to them as to how many of them or just how high they're going to go. We still don't necessarily know. But when it comes to weapons, we have a pretty clear picture as of right now when they mentioned that Curious Crafting is going to have essentially six different options for you to be able to craft up to five different boosts on any given weapon. You can add an anomaly slot. Each anomaly slot is going to give you essentially one different type of booster. So far, there's five different ones. Attack, Affinity, Elemental, Sharpness, and Rampage Slot Upgrade. And basically, whenever you slot in one of these decorations that you're going to be able to craft into your weapon, you're going to get extra attack, extra affinity, elemental power, more sharpness, which people have pointed out that's basically handicraft, which is really interesting. I didn't think that originally. And of course, the option to be able to add in more slots or boost the already available slots into the rampage slot area of your weapon. Most weapons have one or two some have three and some really have four and now you're going to have that option to be able to get almost every single rampage slot weapon two plus four if you so desire now the thing here is that this is most likely just wave of one of the way that we're going to be crafting our weapons and augmenting them going forward and i say that because if you remember back in monster hunter eyes we got two separate tiers of decorations essentially added as free title updates 2.0 and 3.0 uh, remember that in the beginning, for example, we didn't have a Weednex exploit ex uh, decoration and then it became available in one of the free title updates that we got. And then we got a second tier of updates as well and more decorations became available there. We're pretty much by the time that all those updates were done in 3.0 and 3.1, we had a pretty decent set of decorations for your armor. So for right now, when it comes to the way that they're handling weapon, which is pretty much just another level of decorations, which is what Curious Crafting is looking to be, this might just be the first wave of that. And I, I guess the clear tell is the fact that there's only five different set of boosts that we are going to be able to have, as I mentioned at the top of the video. But there's a couple of outliers here that we just simply aren't able to get as of right now that could become available later in different updates. The first one, of course, is the fact that they could potentially give you a Curious Crafting Gem, essentially a new Curious Crafting Upgrade, for you to be able to have a plus one slot decoration at the cost of one of your Curious Crafting or Afflicted Anomaly slots. So essentially, you're trading one of the Anomaly slots from your weapon so you can be able to have a normal decoration slot available on the right side of the screen, as we got to see in the smithing page when they posted the information. So it's basically just a one-to-one -one trade off. That could be another little gem, a nice little gem that they could go ahead and add for weapons that could certainly help a lot of people if they're still missing a couple of decoration slots for any given armor set. Another one of the decorations that they could add in or curious crafting weapons that they could add in is the boost for new health regeneration. Essentially just giving you a gradual tick of health whenever you either do damage or just by a set period of time. So a simple health regen decoration that you can go ahead and boost up to one, two, three, four, and five could go a long way for people to be able to feel a little bit better as we're still dealing with all of these armor sets that are essentially uh, draining your health continually. You know, this could be one of those ways to kind of offset that a little bit better. Uh, another decoration that people have mentioned for Curious Crafting that should become an option is, of course, more defense. If they're already giving you the option to be able to attack boost, then why isn't defense boost an option as well? That should be 
automatically one of those kind of like a given if you want to go more defensive there shouldn't be any downsides if you want to go in the defensive route but it doesn't necessarily end there either they could also give you specific weapon types of uh, curious crafting upgrades for some specific weapon types like for example gun lances can just receive a specific plus shell boost decoration where essentially they give you a plus one to your shell if you can actually go ahead and slide it in now could this actually end up being extremely broken by giving you know certain gun lances which already have like really powerful uh, shells and then they can go ahead and give you a plus one uh to basically make it a plus eight at the end of the day probably that would be a little bit broken but if there's any way to bring gun lances to this equal playing field this is going to be one of those ways to be able to do it if you already have a gun lance that has just three slots which most people don't necessarily run they run uh, once with four and five but if they go ahead and give you one and now with the option to be able to have more shells attached to it and you add four or five more of those shells into your gun lance all of a sudden you're just getting more extra damage whenever you decide to do those blast attacks with the gun lance so that's certainly going to be beneficial and it's going to bring more people to actually want to use that weapon in the same way heavy bow gun light bow gun and bows can get a plus shot boost where each one of the light bow guns heavy bow guns or just the bow itself can get another shot of whatever type you actually already have available equipped to you on your light bow gun heavy bow gun or your bow automatically slot in another one of those now does this actually fall into the same category as the gun lance maybe making it a little bit broken since now your ammo count goes into extreme levels i think most people are using like pierce five or six shots already in uh different weapons that they're using so now multiply that or basically almost double that to almost 10 to 11 you know would that actually be broken before you can actually automatically reload i'm not necessarily sure but at the end of the day if the monsters are going to be as powerful as we expect them to be when it comes to afflicted elders and afflicted magnum Allo and things of that nature then what's the real downside of making weapons just as powerful if you so desire and of course we can't forget our hunting horn brethren where if they could actually decide to give them a custom song curious lot boost essentially you can slot in just one specific song in any one of your hunting horns and automatically give you the freedom to mix and match the best hunting horn available to you for whatever specific hunt you wish to have and uh, be able to just have a perfect hunting horn for every single scenario with the option that every single hunting horn has the opportunity to be able to slot in a custom song uh, curious crafting gem or decoration automatically and be able to just have that freedom to mix and match whatever it is that you want so those are just some of the things i was able to come up with and i also saw a couple of people discussing these topics regarding just what more options they could decide to bring in as more free title updates become available and as they expand on the curious crafting mechanic which as of right now when it comes to weapons seems to be universally loved i have not seen many people complaining as the way capcom is handling this basically because they're choosing to specifically tell you this is how you're going to be able to upgrade your weapon and this is what most likely the materials you're going to need there's nothing rng based about it in the way that they're actually handling the armor side of things which probably is going to be to offset some of this you know weapons are going to get automatic boost you know to be able to bring them to another level where armors they're choosing to kind of make you grind rng based to do hunts over and over to be able to keep getting those materials to be able to essentially uh you know get that proper boost that you want now a lot of people did reach out in the last video where i spoke about the rng side of things when it comes to the armor and they were asking me well why are people so against rng and the answer is extremely simple no one is necessarily against rng if all you're having to build is just one armor set and all you really need to do is get that perfect or close to perfect lucky roll to be able to get that specific let's say plus blast attack on your weapon because you're just focusing on the elemental blast attack armor set that's not necessarily the big of a big of deal uh, what it is a big deal is that most people are farming multiple armor sets for end game just, just think about elemental farming like automatically you already have to build like six different sets or so so now each one of those sets have to have the perfect you know augment for each one of the armor pieces and then you have to do that six separate times 
that's just a big ask for people that's just not necessarily the way it should be handled unlike the weapons which is they're basically telling you flat out these are the boosts that you can get these are the materials you're gonna have to get pretty clean pretty straightforward no real confusion and this is why i think the curious crafting when it comes to weapon is so beloved i've seen nothing but praise on it whereas when it comes to the armor side of things it's a little bit more wonky and people are not necessarily in love with the rng aspect of it although they do like the fact that they're just gonna have more reasons to hunt things over and over again but that's about all the information that i wanted to go over and certainly want to hear your guys p feedback on what decorations you think should be added in in the curious crafting side when it comes to actual weapons if you're brand new to my channel be sure to leave a like and subscribe hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up and as always thank you so much for watching see ya